guys, Shaper1000 here. It's midnight, Friday night, and it's hot. We got this little jumper box behind us. It doesn't work. The battery's shot. I really can't see putting an expensive battery in it, uh, messing around with it. But I've got an idea of what we can do with some parts off of this thing. So stick around, and let's see what we're going to do. Okay guys, this is what we got here. We got this thing. I've tried to charge it with this. Won't take a charge. I've actually tried to I've unhooked the battery, put my battery, you know, manually charged it. Um, nothing, you know, it, it does nothing. It, it doesn't work. So I thought we can use some parts off of this thing. Like, like we can use that. We can use the gauge on something. The switch is a good switch. The light, I know the light works. The gauge works because I have tested them out. These buttons, they'll work. That's a momentary switch, that button there. Because it only, you know, when you're holding it. Um, gauge does have a crack in it. But, like I said, the light works. We can use that. But that's not what we're after tonight. Tonight, what we're after also, I can use this this cord and um, socket what we're going to do is we're going to take these hand these uh, cables off of here and we're going to put them on this Centec uh, power inverter see the cables are all jacked up on it they're all jack legged and so we're going to take these cables off we're going to take these out of here so we're going to take the back off and we're going to put these cables onto this. Just a quick little project I've been wanting to do and then we'll check it out and see if it works. So let me get you an above shot and um, get you up overhead so you can see a little bit better because the lighting's not that great with these lights up here. So hang tight and I'll be right back with you. We'll get started on this. Okay guys, like I said before I'm just going to use this little thing here it's got a little light on it it's kind of cool um, this was her dad's as well this was her dad's uh, her mom said that he it wasn't that old but he tried to use it or tried to charge it because he wanted to use it and it wouldn't hold a charge so uh, for some reason my fan turned for no reason and I don't have it turned on to osculating so anyway that's what you're hearing in the background I hope it doesn't bother us too much um, but I am sweating profusely. It's really hot in here. And like I said, in my last video, I will show you what time it is. It is 12, 11 a.m. Saturday, July 25th. So, all right. A friend of mine from Ohio was uh, messaging me. All right, let me grab a rag and uh, we'll go ahead and pull this back off here. I've had this off here before because I thought it was just going to be a quick fix but it wasn't so and then I'll show you what's inside here. I'll explain a couple things and then we'll go to uh, step two. Hang tight. Okay I'm back. I had to get me a rag and get me a cold drink. You know what's Friday night in the shop, late night in the shop without a nice cold can of suds right? Which not real, but and a cigarette. Gotta have a cigarette. But uh, it's just fine with me. So now I haven't charged this thing. I may have to go get my all right. I'll get my other one. I haven't charged this thing in probably a month now. Alright, here we go. I haven't charged this in a month either. But... <laughs> this thing's awesome. However, if I get a little extra money, I will have me another one of these. I love the 
I never owned any Bauer equipment um, until I bought this and then uh, I just absolutely love it I mean for what I use it for now I don't know how well it would do like you know in a big time shop where you're, you're always working on stuff like every day all day long big heavy duty equipment dropping it and you know I mean I I think it does pretty good uh, I think it would be all right just if you know if you took care of it I've, I have dropped that though several times and uh, nothing's ever broke on it except like I had mentioned the uh, LED lights quit working don't know what that was about but they did but it doesn't stop you know the performance of the machine itself uh, see screws that's what happens after you put them in take them out twice okay so let's move this over here now this is what we're looking at on the inside okay just a 12 volt battery let me get you zoomed in here where you can see the numbers I have done some checking uh, on this battery and it is no good um, we'll get our little handy one here we'll get him out we'll get him turned on and we'll see what I tried to charge this overnight on a trickle I tried to charge it overnight on uh, 10 amp and uh, to no avail Let's see what it's reading 2.53 volts and as you can see it's 12 volt 17 amp hour so yeah it's no good now why buy a battery for that thing you know I mean the batteries are a little pricey so I'm just gonna want to part it out so let's try to get see, will this come out I don't think I got enough room to take this clear out so let's get a little wrench on here. Uh, 5 16 or 3 8. And it's a 3 8. If I can keep the other side from turning, there we go. And these little bolts, you guys can't see a damn thing. Here, let me back you out a little bit. These little bolts come in handy for stuff. I'm not going to throw them away. They're like brand new. And we'll pull the, uh, we'll go ahead and pull that battery out of there once we get these unhooked. Yeah, this wasn't very tight at all. But I know that wasn't the issue. Now if you're doing this with a really good battery, just be careful that you're not shorting out your wrench on something. You know. I know you guys know that. I don't know why I tell you, but it's not really a disclaimer either. It's just because I don't see anyone getting hurt, you know. So okay, so there's that. Okay, so the issue that I'm seeing I might have is this is pretty big here. See, this is uh, this is about the size I'm gonna need right here. This is a charging wire here. This is charging wire. Um, that's awful big. But we'll see how it goes. Let's see if I got something that big to take that off with, which I doubt it. No, I do not. So. Shouldn't be that tight. Let's uh, just use a pair of pliers here. There we go. Drop the ash down here. Alright, now 
we're gonna fish these out through Let's go ahead and put this back on here gonna fish these through these holes down here first let's see if we can get this battery up out of here believe it or not there's some weight there you know all right so move him over here out of the way let's start with the little one around all it does is just try to get you push it right through the back there well through the back but into the front and it's got one of these these things on it which they're not that hard to unclip I should have you up on that thing that I made for situations like this I keep forgetting I have it and of course it broke they always do that's okay if we have to we'll we'll snip it off but Take that off. Now this will pull out through. Drop stuff underneath the bench, of course. Okay. Whoo! Man, my fan. Look at this, guys. See my fan? It keeps turning there on its own. Maybe I didn't have it all the way locked. We'll see if it uh, does it again. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing with this one. Pull this out. Just snap these off. Now we'll pull it. Oh, I don't know if that'll come through there. Should. Maybe not. See what I'm doing there? Boy, we got her though, didn't we? Alright, now. Okay, so. Just going to throw all this stuff in here. Except for these little bolts. We'll keep them out. I got another place I put them. And I got a place I'll put the screws. Okay. So, um, that's happening. It's just something with this wrong with this board, you know? Because uh, I can repair those, but apparently there wasn't. I must have just unhooked that because I know that button was working. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. And this switch, that's a big, a big hefty switch, so, you know, that'll be good. Alright, we've got this guy out of the way here. Drop my rag on the floor. That's always good. Now, this over here. This one's just got a thumb knob on it, and it's off. Uh, that whole thing's turning. And I'm not going to throw these cables away, of course, because I can use them on something else. So I will keep the cables. I mean, really, it just needs another, just needs that input back on it. But I figured we can use these. Now, see how big this thing is? 
Let's get this off of here. Now, I don't know. I've got some. I've got some of these ring terminals. I don't know if I got any that big. But we can check. And see what we have in our stash here. There's a pretty good size one there but it's still a little too big well that's no good it's been crimped before see that all right so let's see I think this one I don't know I don't know if that'll fit in there or not Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's give this a shot. I think these got cutters on them. Yeah, but I don't know if I'll cut it all the way through. You know what? It might. See if it fits on our. Yeah. Okay, so that fits. I think I can get this to work. This is just cramped on. So. Let me get a pair of cutters. landed right in a bucket where I keep stuff. Now, if this works, you know, I didn't grab my crimpers while I was over there. Um, I don't know if I can make that any bigger or not. Okay show you what I'm going to do here. You usually got a hammer sitting up here. Okay, let me get a punch. I can open that up. I don't care about this plastic thing, which... Go ahead and take this off now. Maybe. Yeah, okay. So, might be able to open it up now. There we go. Now, get these just bent back straight okay right, move this out of the way what the hell Now what I may do, I may go ahead and solder this. I think, I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to go ahead and solder this. I 
onto that. Like that. Let's do that. First, we'll try to crimp it down just a little bit. And I don't think we're going to get it. No. Maybe like this. Just enough to kind of hold it. Let me get my soldering stuff, and we'll solder that on. Okay, this might be too hot for that. I probably should get out my big gigantic ass soldering gun, or my big ass soldering iron that I've got. I think you guys have seen it. I'm pretty sure I did a video on it, but, okay, now, if I remember right, I've got to light this one with a lighter. Somewhere it's not going down on the floor. pull it off so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over to the wire wheel I'm going to clean it up I'm going to cut this piece this uh, where it's melted at I'm going to cut it back just a little bit and I'm going to put back out a little bit now and put whatever will fit over that it's probably going to be that one and might be the black one I'd like to use a different color but than the black but all right now Let's get it over here at the wire wheel and we'll clean it up. You can see, hopefully, right down in there, all that solder went where it should have went. So let's get this cut off, and we'll get our uh, heat shrink on there. Should peel right off of there. 
Oh yeah, that's not going anywhere. Hopefully it'll go it won't go over that red one. Hmm. I do have some more bigger stuff. Let me go get it. Alright guys, so I can't remember where I put I got some stuff that would you know damn near go over that. <laughs> Uh, no, but seriously, I mean, it, it would go over some, some big stuff. So what I'm trying to do, I've done this before, is I've got these in my needle nose pliers, and I'm just stretching this out to see if I can get it to go over this end, because when you do this, you got to hurry, because your the heat from your hands will cause this stuff to shrink up, too, since it's already starting to shrink. Okay, let's give this a little, might help if I, just enough to get it to slide over there so it can catch something. Yeah, is this necessary? Not really, but I'm doing it. <laughs> Mess up some more. not going to be pretty by any means but maybe it will be functional I like using this stuff whenever I can more than I do uh, black tape or you know electrical tape whichever you prefer um, this stuff really does I have repaired um, throttle cables on lawnmowers with this stuff you know how the plastic casing will break and let me tell you it will hold it together okay now we're up on here oh good half an inch so let's see let's cut this off here That's that knife I restored. As you can see, it's not that shiny anymore because I use it, and I use it a lot. Okay, now let's see what's going to happen. I'm just going to take take my cigarette lighter here. I need to turn the fan. The fan stand, by the way, so. All right, stand in that spot. And just heat this up. I have a heat gun under here, but... If I was doing a lot of this, like, you know, eight or ten wires or something like that, or, you know, hooking a stereo up, I'd get it out and use it. But just for this one thing, this will be fine. This is cool. This was only a dollar, but it's refillable. I've had this two years now. Okay, that'll be good enough. Now, let's get. Uh, we'll take a drink. Let's get this over here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see if I can find a washer. I'd like to put a washer on there. So give me a second, guys. Okay, I've got a washer here. Trying to find the right size wrench. That's three eighths. Nope, must be metric. Okay. Let's try ten. All right. All right, ten work. It's uh, like I said, it's a lock washer. Doesn't really need a lock washer, but I've got so much, so many nuts and bolts over there. I'm sure I've got a flat washer that would fit that, but um, 
it is off a lake. And there's that. Now let's get the other one on here. I'm gonna point it in this direction. There we go. Now, I'm going to put you down here, show you on this battery. We'll check this out. Okay. Let's see what we've got. We've got the negative here. We've got the positive here. There it is. We've got power. Power on. I'm going to plug the fan in. And we'll see if the fan comes on. There it is. Awesome. Now we'll we'll kick the power off. There we go. Great. All right. As my mate Vince would say, excellent. <laughs> Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not making fun of them guys because them guys are really cool and they know what they're doing. Alright, let's get back up here. Alright guys, not a major fix, not a big deal, but we did do something. And right now I'm going to clean my tools up and then I'll be back with you and we'll show you what time it is. Well, I'll go ahead and show you right now. Um, it is... 12, well, 12.51, it changed over because uh, I looked at it at 12.46. It's 12.51. So, this wouldn't have taken this long had I not have to move the camera and all that, but I really enjoy this. So, let me get this stuff picked up, and I'll come back with you, and we'll chat for a moment. Okay, guys, so, hope you enjoyed this evening's program, which you guys are probably sitting in the morning or in the afternoon or maybe even Sunday I don't know whenever you guys watch my videos which by the way I really appreciate um, it is now I cleaned up my tools it's now 12.57 a.m. 1 o'clock in the morning so um, I could probably done that if I wasn't filming I, I probably could have done it 20 minutes but that's the thing um, I get a lot of haters well not a lot but I have had some haters you know comment about well you know I don't know why you're complaining Shea Bear because I can't I just can't get this because uh, all you do is sit around, make videos, have fun, build something. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's that easy. You know, it's like all the, all the, uh, like the, the reviews we do, we, we, we bought 99.9% .9 of them other than a couple things that were given to us. Um, but if you see us doing as seen on TV product or something like that, Look back through there, um, you know, we buy that stuff out of our own money. Now, like I said, to like this this video before editing will probably be because you know there was a couple times I cut the camera off and was setting the camera up. It'll probably be 45, 48 minutes long. By the time I edit this video, it's probably going to be more like I don't know, uh, 12 minutes if I stretch it. Um, I did give me a new sign. I mean, I figured, you know, everybody else is doing it. Why can't I, right? So, I like it. It was 15 bucks at Walmart. And there's monkeys and stuff on your little emojis that, um, I told Monkey she should get her one, too. It does all kinds of stuff. Um, but, you know, it's, it's going to be, 
you know, maybe a 12 minute video, like I said, if I can stretch it out that long, depending on how long I talk here. And they talk about, you know, it's easy. Yeah, how easy is it? You know, we saw under one of Monkey's um, recommendations this evening, I'm a YouTuber now. Brand new YouTuber. Her video's been up, what, three days, two days, three days? And she's already got almost 400 views on that one video. I don't know how many subs she has. Her first freaking YouTube video, and I've been doing this for 10 years this November. 10 fucking years. And I'm lucky now, I used to say I'm lucky to break 100 and then break 50. I'm lucky if I break 20 views now. Over 3,000 subs. By the way, 1% of my subscribers are is watching. Is watching my... And I probably pretty much know who you guys are. Of my subscribers watching. The rest is just from, you know, uh, YouTube search and shit like that. You know, from what my tags are. I don't know. But no, it's is it easy? No, I mean, to film, no. Like I said before, I don't have a camera crew following me around to where they gotta, you know, hurry up and get in this position, that position, and all I do is just do my everyday thing, and they film it, and I turn around and talk to the camera or whatever. It's not like that. And then somebody else goes and edits it. Somebody else uploads it and takes care of the channel and all this shit. And they do nothing. And they get paid for it. That's easy. When you do this shit yourself, no, it gets tedious. You run into into problems. You know, you forget to change a battery. You know, your memory card. You forget to, you know, check the memory card. Next thing you know, you got lights blinking. You got, uh... You know, they don't have to deal with, with the computer issues, you know, the tech technical issues. Uh, Mike's not working, and, you know, they're just doing their thing. And then if something don't come out right, they're, they, they get all pissy at their cameraman or the editor or whatever. You know, sometimes your, your editing software freezes up, you know. Sometimes everything's fine. You check your playback on your camera. You go to import it. Boom! Corrupted files. This file may be corrupted or damaged. It's like you put the card back into the camera, it plays it fine. You plug the camera into your PC. Corrupted file, but it plays it fine. You know? And then you gotta do this bullshit. I got this this thing that I downloaded that, that fixes that, but it takes a little bit. You know? And it's like, damn, it's like you just get your video done. Everything's fine. You play it back. You watch it back. That's another thing. I watch my videos all the way through. Sometimes things get through. Like yesterday or the day before, I uploaded a video. Found out that the music wasn't where I put it. Somehow it changed. I had like two or no, I had like five views or something like that. So I had to pull that down. I had to redo the whole video again try to remember what music I use, try to remember where I cut, what I cut, and then repost it again, you know, drop that video again. I mean, that shit happens, man, Yeah, you know, but, the, you know, these big-time YouTubers, you know, oh, I got my own camera crew, and see, they like to be called filmmakers. They think it's like HBO or something. That's not what YouTube was supposed to be about. When I first got on YouTube 10 years ago, 10 fucking years ago, 2010, um, it was about expressing yourself. That's why they called it YouTube. It's about you. No, it ain't now. No, it ain't. I mean, it's favoritism. It's, you know, it, it's ridiculous. It's not about us. If we express ourselves... And, you, and I get so many fucking hate comments about, oh, your camera's too shaky. You suck at your camera work. You go and check every one of the people out. They have nothing on their channel, number one. And number two, I just replied back, oh, well, you know, I didn't know I was talking to a professional, but this is not the travel channel. This is not the history channel. This is not fucking Netflix. 
it's YouTube where I'm allowed to express myself. You know, it's for amateurs. And then you get these guys that want to be professionals and they hire all these professional people. That's not YouTube no more. That's not creating. You know, you get copycatters. These big time YouTubers copycat off of people, take their ideas, and they get credited for it. And they call themselves creators. I see so much copycat, and people copy off of me. I'm just a little channel, but by gosh, you know, they're going to use my, my stuff. But, you know, that's not creating. That's why I do things out here. That's why I do things on the car. I try to do, on the truck, I try to do different things to create videos. If something's been done a million times, um, and I do it the million and one time, I'll say, look, I've seen this going around. I've seen a hundred people do this. I'd like to try it myself. I don't sit and take credit for it. I want to create. I try to put a spin on things. But, you know, here it is. It's Friday night. It's after 1 a.m. Getting ready to shut down the shop. Shut the fan off. Shut the lights down. And, uh... Head on in, edit this video for you, and drop it so you can watch it first thing in the morning. Or some of you guys, uh, some of you night owls like me, maybe, maybe, just maybe, you'll get a notification that, you know, I dropped a video. You probably won't, but you know, I'm still getting notified. Notifications from people I've never been subscribed to, but they're big time YouTubers. You know, I've never been subscribed to. I'm, I'm, I'm getting notified. You know, I'm not talking about recommendations on the TV screen or the computer screen or my phone screen. I'm talking about I'm getting emails, so-and-so just uploaded a video. So-and-so is live, and I'm like, I don't even know who the fuck they are. And you go check your channel out. <laughs> oh, yeah, 500,000 subs. Why are they email? You know, I don't, I'm not even subscribed to them, so... That means I don't have the bell icon turned on, so why are they notifying me? That's not fair. YouTube, get it together. All right, guys. Have a fun, safe, happy weekend. I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll try to do this a couple times a week, at least once a week. Uh, it's pretty fun. Monkey's in bed. Mom's in bed. The dog's asleep. The cat's asleep. I'm awake drinking beer and smoking cigarettes, talking to you fine folks. <laughs> <laughs> Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Thanks for staying with me. Late, late night shop night. So, uh, y'all be cool. Have a good one. Bye-bye.